let's say that you've got a theme that you've been applying to your slides and there's just something wrong about it or maybe it's the built-in theme and it's nearly what you want but you need to change it so how do you do that well along with these modes up here there's another one specific to theme so click on more and go to theme editor so uh, you can see that I've got different themes these are uh, that's one left over from a freelance gig I did a couple of years ago so let's actually do all caps in a box I just did that one so one thing I could do is maybe I like this I just don't like the font it's Avener let's instead uh, do the one from uh, church motion graphics I really like that one so let's go with CMG sans instead so I do that and I'm done I've updated it and everything like that but let's say that I have a couple of different variations that I would like to do instead of just this one I want to add another one so um, let's actually add another slide right here and let's do the exact same thing but I'm going to go to first I'm gonna change the capitalization to all caps just like the other one and I'm gonna change Helvetica new back to CMG Sands so there we go looked right past it so example text goes here so I've got this one and now that I'm looking at it I notice that it is 60 and has a stroke black stroke width of 8 so let's check this one yeah that's much smaller so I'm gonna select that and change this 42 to 60 I could also just type it in directly and that's what I'm gonna do and I didn't put a stroke on it so let's do that so there we go so now I have this one and this one which are very similar this is with the box and this is without so I have that as a possibility of what I could do when I'm editing themes you know I could make all kinds of variations and just use them based on what I want to do now one thing you should notice is up here I have a name so just for uh, clarification sake I'm gonna call this with box and I'm gonna call this one no box so now when I go back to show I can right click and go into themes and this was the all caps in a box theme and notice I have those with box and no box so I could change that one to no box there we go and as long as I preview a screen where that look had not been changed up here in edit looks earlier in a previous tutorial I had 
change the look on that particular screen. So as long as I did that, you can see the difference between um, the look with the box in all caps and the look without the box in all caps. So that's one of the other things that you can do with themes is you can make different variations, grouping them into different theme groups in ProPresenter 7.